Our next section of notes is about arithmetic sequences. For part A, I'm going to give you a definition of an arithmetic sequence, and that is a sequence whose consecutive terms have a common difference and that common difference is D. So that's a special label that we have for that. It's always um, D. Let's look at two examples of that. Example number one, I want you to write the first five terms Answer the question, is it arithmetic? Is the sequence an arithmetic sequence? And if so, find D, the common difference. And we're going to start with N equals 1. So if you're not told, you're going to assume that we're starting with N equals 1, but in this case I am telling you, your sequence, A sub N, is 5 plus 3 N. Okay? So first instruction, find the first five terms. So n and a sub n, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If I do 1, 1 times 3 is 3, plus 5 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 5 is 11. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 5 is 14. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 5 is 17. And 5 times 3 is 15, plus 5 is 20. So that's our sequence. The next question is, is it arithmetic? For it to be arithmetic, again, we go back to our definition. It's a sequence whose consecutive terms have a common difference. So the difference between 8 and 11 is 3. Between 11 and 14 is 3. Between 4 and 17 is 3. And between 17 and 20 is 3. So since the difference is common, it is, yes, arithmetic. And the difference, or the common difference, is 3. So that's our answer. Let's try another example. I want the first five terms again. Um, and I want, let's see, first five terms, the common difference, and a new a sub n, because I'm going give to give you one that is actually recursive. So that goes back to some stuff we did in a previous lesson. So um, a sub 1 is equal to 0 0.375. a sub k plus 1 is a sub k plus 0.25. Okay, so we want to find the first five terms, n and a sub k plus 1. So n is 1. The first term is 0.375. The second term is 0.375 plus 0.25, which is 0.625. That's term 2. Term 3, 4, and 5 are what we want. So then I have 0.625 plus 0.25, which is 0.875. And then I have 0.875 plus 0.25, which is 1.125. And then I have 1.125 plus 0.25, which is 1.375. So is there a common difference between here and here? The common difference is 0.25. Here and here, 0.25. And you know that goes on and on and on because that's what we added each time. So that's our D, 0.25. And if I'm going to write a new sequence, let's figure out what that would be. My A sub N is 0.25, that's my common difference, times n, right? And 0.25 times 1 gives me 0.25. What do I need to do to get to 0.375? Well, add 0.125. The reason I know to add 0.125 is to do 3.75 minus 2.5 and get that original. Okay, part B of what we need to look at is the sum of a finite, talked about that a little bit last week, arithmetic sequence. So the sum, S sub n, is equal to n over 2 of a 1 plus a n. So I'm going to do the number of terms times the first term plus the last term of the sequence gives me the sum of a finite sequence. That's a formula that um, you will be given, but you need to know how to use it. So um, for example, let's do uh, one of these. I want you to find the 150th partial sum of the sequence. Okay? 
And the sequence, the part that I'm giving you is the first five terms, which are 5, 16, 27, 38, should be a 3, sorry, 38, and 49. Okay, so that's what I would give you. I want the 150th partial sum. Last week when we talked about partial sums, to get them we would just calculate sums 1 to 150. That would be a little bit time consuming in this case. So this formula that we have really is going to help us. The first thing we need to do to get our 150th is we need, we need a1, which is 5, and we need a sub n, or a sub 150, which we're going to need to find. To do that, we need a sub n. So the common difference is the first thing we want to find. The difference here is 11, 11, 11. That's the common difference. So I do 11 times n. If I plugged in 1, 11 times 1 is 11. To make that be 5, I'm going to subtract 6. So I need to find a sub 150 which is 150 times 11 minus 6, and that would be 1644. Okay, and you just use your calculator to do that, 150 times 11 minus 6. So steps, I found my, my common difference, I found my sequence, I found my 150th term of my sequence, and then I plug it into the S sub n formula, or S sub 150, the partial sum or the finite sum of 150, is to do n, which is 150 over 2, times the first term, which is 5, plus the last term, which is 1644. And if I do that, I get 123,675. And that is the sum of the first 150 terms. The homework assignment for this is A4, and it's page 640, sorry, 659. I'm off by 10, 10 units today for some reason. 659. And that's numbers 12 to 15, 39 to 42, 57, and 58. And that's just a good variety of all of these things using that common difference. Good luck, and let me know if you have questions.